So I am in the class Dropbox. You can get to there from the homepage under links and you can log in. And then those of you who have not logged in before, you're going to need maybe an access code. So I will pull those up for you. But we first need to have our files ready for it. And our files need to look good within an 8x10 map. So if I wanted to do assignment 1, and I have my Photoshop file, I can open it up, say image size, and I'm going to follow the directions that are on these instructions, which are in the flatten tip files to print folder, right? Which you get to by going to Dropbox, going to Digital Art Class Files, and then clicking on flatten tip files to print. So in image size, this image, when I uncheck resample, is 10 inches by 7.59 inches by 572 pixels per inch, right? That is big enough to print for sure. But the problem is, if I put that on an 8x10 mat, so I'll show you that by just doing canvas size that's 8x10 and fill it with white, this is what it's going to look like in the mat. It will have a white bar at the top and a white bar at the bottom. Right? That's not great. So what's better is to float it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is now select it all. This has already been flattened. And I'm going to transform it. This outside dimension is 8 by 10 by 350. And I'm going to hold down Option. And I'm just going to shrink it until it looks decent. Right? So this is called an internal border. So you'd have your mat, and then a white edge, and then your landscape. Yeah, looks okay. All right, so once I'm happy with that, I'm going to say layer, flatten image. Mine's already flattened because I did that already. Then you're going to say you're not going to overwrite your assignment one, right? Instead, you're going to say file, save as, and you're going to put PR in front of it, and then to the desktop as a TIFF. This is our archive format. I'm going to mark it purple with LZW compression. Makes it take up less space without losing any quality. So there it is, going to mark that purple. Going to move that into my potential print folder. <laughs> and now I have one more to go. So what other ones can I print? Maybe I want to print my creaturescape. Maybe I want to print my exercises. Maybe I want to print my creature. So if I go to my creature file, I'm going to go to my PSD. And then I go to image size. I uncheck resample, make sure that's not checked. And then I see, okay, if I put this eight inches wide, it's plenty big enough, right? So I can say, okay, now let's put it on the canvas size. Let's say it's a 10 inch width and a height of eight inches. It's gonna ask if I wanna go just because I'm cutting into it a little bit. I'm gonna proceed. And that's what it would look like. And then I'm gonna flatten it. And then I'm going to select it all, transform it. arrange it to look good within that frame and then I'm going to check its dimensions so image size it's now 8 by 10 and I can resample it now because I don't need it to be 665 resolution I just need it to be 350 anything more than that is just wasting printer time this takes it longer to buffer all right so I'm going to get really high print quality there we go. Now what do I have to do? I've flattened it. I've made it the right size. Now I need to save it as a TIFF. Don't overwrite your PSD. So I put PR in front of it. That's a precaution as well because renaming keeps you from saving over things. And then as a TIFF to the desktop and then with LZW with the lossless compression. Okay, now I've got all three. I'm only going to put the three in I want to print. So I have to make a decision about which logo I want. And I've decided I don't want my color logo. 
Instead, these are the three I want. So I go to Dropbox. I go to my folder. So you're going to do it from Dropbox number one. Dropbox shows you all the latest activities. So that can be confusing. So just go to where the files are. It's the number one folder, Digital Art Class Files. It's the number one folder, Flatten TIFF Files to Print. And then you find your, your folder. And then we're going to drop that stuff into there. So I already dropped the cat. Now I'm going to drop these two in. And then once they're in there, as Flatten TIFF Files, then I am able to print them for you. And Tony supplied paper for everyone. So everyone will have prints. 8 by 10 inches. 